Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to go over my five favorite baits for jigging for lake trout. Just for jigging, trolling is a whole nother option, but let's go over some stuff. So probably number five on my list would be a bucktail. Bucktail is a pretty unique bait too, because you can put a swim bait on it. Like this one's got like a grub on it. It's got a nice twister tail. And they come in like crazy amounts of colors. There's, you can get bright pinks and greens and whites. And they have nice heavy weights too, so you can get down deep fast. So that's one awesome thing about bucktails. And then after that, I would say my next favorite is a swim bait. This is like a three and a half inch, good finesse. And you can get good sized jig heads for these too, so you can get down fast, or you can go really small and be really finesse. And they come in every kind of paddle tail you can imagine. One of my favorite is probably the by Frostbite, the Dragon Slayer. This is in the Chantreuse color, but they also make the Derby Slayer too, which is shorter. And then the, I believe the Dragon Slayer is like four and a half inches, five, but they're an excellent bait too. They got really nice action in the water and you can rig them with the paddle tail up. So when you jig it, it flaps this way. And then if you want to cast it, you can jig it the, uh, turn it the, the vertical way and then it'll kind of swim side to side. So it's a pretty universal bait for that kind of stuff too. Then after that, I would say a small spoon, kind of like this. This is called a trout and pout spoon. It is extremely dense for how size, what size it is. And this is a glow. And I've had really good luck on days where they will not bite a pie. So like you just sit there and set it on the mud, just tap it up and down. And they really seem to like that. I've caught quite a few Lakers now on this small spoon, just pounding it in the mud. So it's a good uh, one too, and it works good ice fishing. And then after that, you get into the big stuff. Bondi baits are probably my, yeah, they are. They are my second favorite lure to use for lake trout. When the bite is hot, they love these things. I've caught some beauties on a Bondi bait now. And they make quite a few different sizes. This is their original. They also make a wobbler. And they're really nice too. They got the nice blade on the back for a little flash and they vibrate if you let them fall at the right speed. You have to like, it's almost like a control fall. You don't just jig up and then just put your rod tip down. If you do that, it doesn't seem to do it. If you control the line so it goes down smoothly, it actually rocks and you can feel it in your rod tip. It goes as it goes down and they work really well too. This is the junior one. They make a bigger one too. And for my number one favorite jigging for lake trout bait is the tube. Tubes are just an awesome bait and they come in every color you can imagine. Like this is a nice bright chantreuse color and there's lots of different brands too. So like this one's made by Waterwolf. It's like about five inches overall and it seems to be a good bait that catches big fish too. And then I believe this is a TC Moto one. And they got lots of different kinds too. And they got some ones with some crazy flash in them. Works really good for getting them mad and they wanted to come up and strike it. And they have a, you can't really see it in here. There we go. They have a trailing hook built right into them. So that's kind of nice too. But you can't go wrong with those either. And tubes come in so many different sizes. Like then you can get into the big ones. So this is a gator tube, it's called, from Waterwolf. This is the seven inch model and it's got the nice blade on the back. So you get some nice flash when you jig that big one. And those work really well too, they're a fun lure. And then they also rig them a little different. If you don't want to have the, the treble on the bottom or on treble on the back. This is a brand new one, can't see it super well, but it's got a trailing hook, but it's a single 
and it's facing up. So when you pound it on the bottom, sometimes I know, I'm sure you guys have noticed with a tra trailer that's a treble, it hooks sometimes. But this one should really help with that because there's no hook on the bottom to grab onto the bottom. So it's called the Bottom Bouncer from Waterwolf. And I haven't actually got to use this one yet, but I've used all the other rigged ones and they work very well too. And it's a nice big bait for the days when that bite is hot. Well, there you guys have it. Those are my five lake trout baits that I like to use. You can't go wrong with any of them. They will catch fish and they're a lot of fun. What a best, it's probably the best way to catch lake trout. Other than maybe casting in the fall, but the weather can be pretty awful in the fall, but this is definitely a very fun way to do it. Um, if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. There'll be more videos like this to come and I'll see you guys on the water.